To most people, the word debt is a negative one, and any kind of debt is considered to be bad. In truth, it's not as straightforward as that. This video deals with the difference between good debt and bad debt, and why it's not quite the same as the definition used elsewhere. A quick Google search will tell you the generally accepted definition of good debt and bad debt. This definition is fine for the employee mindset, but we are going to be a bit more strict. If you can achieve your goals without debt, then this is always the preferable path, but it's unlikely to be possible, and good debt can rapidly shorten your route to wealth. So what is good debt? Good debt refers to borrowing used to acquire an asset or investment that will bring you future wealth. This could be a mortgage on a rental property, a startup loan for a business, or equipment that will help you generate a product or other valuable content. What good debt allows you to do is use the remarkable power of leverage. If you want to buy a rental property, you usually need to put down at least 20% of your own capital. Let's say we are buying a one bed flat to rent out for £50,000. We put down a deposit of £10,000 and use the power of leverage and good debt to borrow the remaining £40,000 from the bank in the form of a buy to let mortgage. For just £10,000, we now control an asset worth £50,000. The bank requires a loan repayment, but any remaining profit goes into our pocket. This is leverage and is one of the most important concepts to understand and control in order to be wealthy. As long as an investment like this is making a profit, we can consider the mortgage to be a good debt. Good debt should not be feared as it contributes to your long-term financial well-being. If you are able to repay the debt and come out with more than you put in, that is a good thing and often the only way to increase your wealth in any sort of reasonable timescale. Imagine if you waited to save up and buy a rental property outright. How long would that take? Bad debt, therefore, covers debt used by liabilities. This includes holidays, overdrafts, personal loans, credit card balances, and the like. Every time you take out some bad debt, you are stealing money from your future self and making it harder to improve your financial situation. It is prudent then to keep bad debt to an absolute minimum. Some of the definitions out there make some different choices for what counts as good and bad debt. The main one is your home. This is a tricky one that splits opinion. It comes down to whether you consider your home to be an asset or a liability. This topic deserves its own video in the future, but generally, I don't consider a house to be a good debt or an asset. The next one is student loans. Again, this is difficult because the benefit of education is often very hard to measure with no direct financial correlation. We are keen on education and personal development and definitely consider it to be worth investment. However, student loans are often not simply spent on education, but also living expenses and dare we say it, beer money. It's up to you, but I would classify a student loan as a necessary bad debt. We would consider loan repayments on a car to be bad debt. Whether you are leasing a car or buying one, you are still going to be paying interest on the borrowing and you aren't likely to get any profit in the long term. This may seem harsh as most people need a car to get around. We aren't saying don't get a car, but you need to know that the debt is only going to take money out of your pocket and perhaps it would be wise to opt for a car that costs a bit less to minimise this expense. It is likely that you won't be able to avoid bad debts like this and that's okay. The purpose of this video is really to ensure you aren't scared of good debts. Many people fear investing in property or business because they don't want more debt without realizing that debt of this type is perfectly acceptable if it benefits you in the long term. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below. And please subscribe to make sure you keep up to date with all the latest content.